The elite and under 23 men rolled off at the Mount Crosby course first for their 140 kilometre race. Five laps of what is a very lumpy 27.9 kilometre circuit. There were no overly long climbs on the lap, but with virtually no flat roads, it was going to be tough racing. After several early moves, a group of six riders went clear on the second lap, including the leader of the National Road Series. After winning this year's Melbourne to Warrnambool in early February, Tristan Saunders of Team Bridge Lane. After that move was caught, a group of eight went clear. Saunders was again in the move, and joining him was Oceana time trial champion New Zealander Tom Sexton. Sexton was second in last year's road race, and the Commonwealth Games Team Pursuit Gold medalist was a big threat. 50 to 60 seconds was all any breakaways were able to wrestle from the peloton all day. The rolling hills favoured the larger main bunch, and even this strong group was unable to stay clear. It was all together coming to the finish, and ARA Skip Capital's revelation, Brady Gilmore, jumped clear over the last roller and fought hard towards the line to try and claim the win. But Queenslander Liam Walsh from Team Bridge Lane lined him up and in a desperate final push got the win ahead of a dejected looking Gilmore. Kiwi Tom Sexton finished third to add to his time trial gold medal from Thursday. Yeah, I mean, this is such a tough course. Um, all the rolling hills and there's really not a lot of rest. So I'm so glad I could pull it together and um, all the Bridge Lane guys went all in for me today so I really appreciate their help um, couldn't have done it without them. Brady Gilmore wanted this really bad he had a long sprint but you just wheeled him in right at the line perfectly timed. Yeah I mean I got a dream sit for the last 20k I got set up so well that I didn't bind up and I just lined him up and yeah had a nice long kick. Champion for the Oceania road race is Liam Walsh Liam. from Team Bridge Lane. From being a track specialist a few seasons ago, Liam is really starting to hit his straps on the road. The under-19 men's race was blown apart on the first lap when three riders went clear. Will Heath, Levi Hone and Josiah Grierson combined well to immediately start pushing the gap out to a maximum of four minutes. With a lap to go, it was down to 1.30, and then Heath from Brisbane's Balmoral Cycling Club moved clear of his breakaway compatriots to win the Oceana title by 30 seconds. In front of Echuca Moema's home, with Grierson from Penrith collecting the bronze. You know, always one to gamble on the break, so, you know, I was like, oh, I'll just follow the wheels. What's the worst that'll happen? We'll just come back into the bunch, and then... Heard we had four minutes and we're like, oh, you know, we can do this sort of thing, sort of believe in it. And then heard there was a group of four coming, um, got to within a minute and we're like, okay, we'll just see what happens, keep riding. For the elite and under 23 women, three laps for a total of 83 kilometres was on the menu. Having recently recovered from a back injury sustained in the gym, the National Road Series leader Sophie Edwards would test it out chasing Oceania Gold and her ARA Skip Capital team would be hard to unsettle in that endeavour. If the LA King Street Criterium winner from the previous evening, Lucy Phidias, could hang on around the tough circuit, she would also be a danger. Plus, the newly formed for 2023 Team Bridge Lane squad would also be looking to challenge with Keely Bennett. However, ARA worked hard throughout the race to neutralise the attacks and ensure it would be a group sprint at the end. On the approach to the finish, they lined out their team to launch Edwards into her sprint. The powerful South Australian then hit the afterburners and sprinted ahead of the pack, comfortably winning the title ahead of Matilda Reynolds and the former Australian road race champion Ruth Corset. It was a hard day out there, so I'm so glad to finish it off for the team. I think we had quite a few different cards we could play. Obviously, we've got some really strong climbers, um, some girls that are really strong time trialists that could have uh, gotten in a breakaway, and then also a couple of us are good sprinters. So I think we were kind of in there um, with a couple of different Thank plans, a couple of different options, and then um, winners, we just worked really uh, well course. together to communicate um, with a lot to go and work out you know, how we would manage the finish should different situations arise. 
In the under-19 women's race, it was a dominant performance from Talia Appleton for Bridge Lane, winning the title by a whopping 2 minutes 15 seconds. From Aussie champ Felicity Wilson Haffenden and Nicole Duncan to make an all Bridge Lane podium. With New Zealand's Ruby Spring just missing the medals in fourth. I'm really proud of myself and the way that um, the Bridge Lane girls rode today and I'm just super happy.